got a canvas, paper plates, and sharpies. Limitless possibilities. Hey guys, today I'm gonna kind of be getting back into things that I used to do. It's something that uh, I never even would have thought of doing until Bailey made this awesome piece yesterday. So what are we gonna be doing? Today we're gonna be doing paper plate art. What am I gonna make? I've got no clue, but we're gonna just make some paper plate art. We got here a big old box of markers. I got Copics, I got Sharpies, I got generic. I got a little bit of everything. Shoot, I need paper plates. Got these here, and this was um, a great value. But anyway, okay. I'm gonna be taking paper plates, I'm gonna be doing something with them, I'm gonna be drawing some sort of picture. I don't know if I'm gonna do it on the front or the back yet. And then uh, I think I'm just gonna glue them all together at the end, and we're gonna have some cool picture like such. Hop in and see what see what happens. That's the game plan. Uh, let's let's just go. Not really knowing what I wanted to do with this project, I just started out drawing characters that I liked. So. I started out with Stitch, worked my way around from there. And you'll see with the black, I try to put little somethings that uh, correlate with who they are. So Stitch has a 626 in the black. And you'll see that other characters have other things too. Okay, and then I was like, what character do I want to do next? Thought of Mickey. And this is the point when I realized this is going to be a Disney piece because there's no point in throwing a Captain America in there or a Spider-Man. I'm just gonna make it a full-on Disney piece. We're gonna go all out, Disney all the way, and of course we gotta have Mickey right here. So the rest of these characters, just a whole bunch of Disney characters, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy.
further that I went into this project, the more I realized my original stitch did not match the style that I eventually developed for these pictures. So I had to go back and redo stitch. I like that now the stitch matches the rest of the style. Okay, so once I had a good collection of them, eight total, uh, I was like, I think I have enough to make something. I just don't know what to make. So this is where I started speculating with ideas of how to put this together. And I came up with the idea of having three on top, three on the bottom, two in the middle. And I want to get like a canvas to set them all on. So that my background wasn't just black and kind of boring, the color of the plate that was in that area, I flicked paint onto it to give it like a splattery effect. This did make a pretty big mess all over the place. I ruined a shirt, um, got some paint on a TV that was sitting nearby, as well as the table and the wall. But you know what? Art's messy and uh, yeah, but we got a cool result so that's all that matters, right? When it came to the ring around the plate, I, I went back and forth on whether or not I should cut it off or if I should leave it on there. I was like, if I cut it off, then it's just another piece of paper and it's not really a paper plate anymore. So I couldn't do that, but I don't know, just the white of it, it just looks so boring. So what I did was, I took the main color of the plate and I painted it on that ring. And uh, I think it gave the piece like a certain, I don't know, just nice vibrant colors. That just match everything and it works perfectly so uh, I really like that I did that and I was able to incorporate it still using it as a plate last but not least guys it's probably not a big project of mine unless I use hot glue so that's how I stuck these guys down So that is it for this one guys. Oh shoot, I got some paint on my neck. Looks like I've been bleeding. Yeah, this is the messiest project I've done in a very long time. 
because most of my stuff is digital, but it's good to get back into this kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, it for this one, guys. My hair's a mess today, but that's okay. I look like Lewis from Meet the Robertsons. That's it for this one, guys. If you would, please, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later. Oh, I messed that up. Do over. And I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.